Hey guys, so for today's menu, I will be showing you guys how to make baked Chinese barbecue chicken buns. They're easy to make. Let's get started. What makes my recipe so easy is that I use leftover chicken. You can use whatever leftover meat you have. If you have leftover beef or pork, I don't know if you have leftover pterodactyl meat, throw some of that in there. You got some leftover dinosaur meat in your freezer? Because I sure don't. Whatever you're using at the moment, go ahead and chop it up and put that aside once you're done. Here's the marinade for the chicken. I'm adding in about one and a half to two tablespoons of roasted red pork seasoning mix. And we're going to mix this all in very well. Please visit my blog for a full listing of ingredients. Here is what the packaging looks like for any of you that's wondering. If you don't want to use it, then you can leave it out as well. I've done that before. Next, you want to add in about two tablespoons of chopped shallots into some hot peanut oil. And give it a good stir until it's nice and translucent. I didn't show you guys, but I'm going to switch pots here. When it turned translucent, I added in my marinade. And as soon as it came to a boil, I'm, I poured in some cornstarch, mixed in with some water. Pour that in, it's going to get nice and thick and syrupy. Turn it off and you're good to go. So we're just pouring the yummy marinade onto our cooked chicken here. You're going to give this a quick little stir to combine and then we're going to refrigerate, repeat. It's very important that you refrigerate because if you do not refrigerate this, then you will have a very hard time rolling up your dough. So to learn how to make the dough, click on the how to make cinnamon rolls recipe and it's the same exact recipe except I used an additional teaspoon of dough enhancer. The only difference is after the first rise, you dump the dough out and instead of rolling it out flat, you want to roll it up immediately into a log, okay? So after I rolled it up into a log, I cut it in half and then I'm going to cut it again. And then I'm going to cut each section into threes, which will give me a total of 12 buns. So now on to the more challenging part of making these cute little suckers. We're going to flatten them out with a rolling pin here. Just give it one or two quick rolls all over and then after I get it nice and flat, as you can see, I'm only starting to roll out the outer edges, leaving the middle part with the most dough because I'm going to place the filling right on top of that middle center. So here I'm going to add in about, I don't know, what is this, a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half if you're lucky. Don't put too much because then if the filling starts coming out, like the juices, then you're done. Just it's You're done for. You, it's going to be really hard to roll. So you start off by rolling it up like a, folding it like a taco and then fold the other two edges to combine to meet in the middle and then give it a good pinch. Don't spend too much time on that and then roll it over and quickly seal it up like that and set it aside. I'm going to show you one more time. Give it a few good rolls all over the whole piece of dough. And then once it's nice and flat, you want to start only rolling it out on the edges and then leaving that lump of thicker dough in the middle because it's going to be easier to roll up and your filling will be less likely, likely to seep out. Your hand is your best tool as well, so use your hands to flatten out the edges. And then again, I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons, if you start to become really good, you'll, you know, be more efficient at it. Again, you want to fold it up like a taco. Lift up the other edge to meet the middle and the other side as well. Quick little pinch. Don't spend too much time on this again, like I said, because the more you pinch and the more you try to work, work it out, you're going to push all that filling down to the bottom, which will actually end up being the top. And then you, it might break through the dough and that's when you just have to start over. So once all of them are filled, you want to cover and let them rest for about 25 minutes. And I've used a wastebasket liner here, but you can use a dish towel if you wish. So after they've sat for about 25 minutes, I'm going to brush an egg wash on them. And the egg wash is just one tablespoon of water mixed with an extra large egg yolk. And after that, I'm going to spray it with um, a water bottle. Just give it a nice light mist. You can spray the water bottle first and then do the egg wash, whichever way. Bake these in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And this is what they look like coming out. I probably should have mentioned that you want to also rotate the pan. Um, did I say 25? I meant 20 minutes. So I usually do a 10 minute timer and then I rotate it and then do another 10 minutes on the timer. That's going to give a nice even color on your buns. 
I also wanted to note that if you can tell that my there's more bread to filling ratio because I let my dough rise a little bit too long. So this is what happens is that that's why you get if you ever bit into a Chinese bun and that there was too much bread, it's because they let it rise for too long. So 25 minutes is a good time. Also, I know I've said this earlier, but if any filling comes out, any of that juice comes out, it's just don't even bother trying to save it. Just throw it out or save the filling, throw out the bun and just start fresh. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Bye.